Here we go. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the City of Douglas Mayor Commission meeting. This will serve as our regular meeting for April 22nd, 2019. And our, inv our invocation is going to be brought to us by Reverend James Sermons of Mount Olive Baptist Church in the big city of Pearson, Georgia. Mm. <laughs> Reverend? I own property in Douglas, too, so y'all say, why he in Pearson doing this prayer? <laughs> My taxes are still in Douglas. Then right. he's the principal at Fitzgerald High School, so let, let us pray. <laughs> 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 Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight. We thank you for this city commissioner's meeting. We thank you for every city commissioner, oh God. Now, God, we ask you to give them a special anointing, oh God, to be thy servant. Because, God, they, are, they were elected to be servants of the community. And, God, let us make the best that we can make out of this meeting. That we will make our community better, our neighborhood better, our district better, our city better, and our town better. Now, Father God, we ask you right now. To look over them that we may rise above every obstacle, every naysayer, everyone that sows discord and everything that's not pleasing in thy sight. That we all may go, we may look for the community and the health of our students, of our citizens, and yet God of you, Jesus Christ. Now God, we thank you for this meeting, for how it's going to go. We thank you how order is going to be held. And everything you do in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Go Kings. <laughs> tase him. Tase him. Somebody tase him. Next, uh, as always, we're going to be led by two of the Coffee High Navy Junior ROTC finest. We have Ensign Marino and Ensign Avalos. Avalos. That is correct. Avalos. Would you please stand and face the flag, please? member of our audience. So after number five, I'm going to turn it over to Commissioner Pierce. So back up to number four, I will entertain is the approval of the order of the agenda. So I will second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next on the agenda is the swearing in of the new mayor's youth council members. That's what I'm talking about. One year down. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> me. Long time coming. Here we go. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. On tonight, it is definitely a pleasure and an honor to swear in our new 2019 Mayor's Youth Council. I'm going to ask if right now <coughs> if our uh, following commissioners will please take front. Um, Angelique, I'm going to say it right, Jackson, Jessica Suarez, Tyran Wilson, Ashton Ates, Amelia Crockett, Jalene Debro and Candace Pace. Separate across you. Go down a little bit. Go down a little bit. <coughs> How's everybody doing? First of all, thank you all for serving. Uh, it is an honor 
to stand before you to administer your oath of office. This is the oath of office for the City of Douglas Marist Youth Council. Would you please raise your right hand? I'm going to say aye, and then I need you to state your name. I'm going to read the rest of the oath of office, and then at the conclusion, say aye to it, okay? Aye. Aye. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully perform the duties of the Mayor's Youth Council of the City of Douglas and that I will support and defend the charter thereof as well as the Constitution and the laws of the state of Georgia and the United States of America. So help me God. Congratulations. And they will receive a pen. And 
it has been very challenging for me uh, just as a person, knowing that the first time I served as the mayor, I wanted to try to get our youth involved in government. And here it is, you know, you don't always get that prayer answered when you want it. But 12 years later, God did bless us to have a Bears Youth Council. And abundantly, we ended up with a teen court. Did not see that one coming. Mm -hmm. So it's just great. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to play that. Because uh, they got me at the banquet, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, next on the agenda, we have a special recognition from Commissioner Pearson. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Uh, greetings, everyone. I'd just like to take this opportunity to uh, recognize a special guest that's here with us tonight, Reverend Denise Freeman. She is an elected official from Lincolnton, Georgia. Uh, Reverend Freeman, she has frequented Douglas Coffee County for many years, but I'm just honored to have her here at a meeting. I think this is the first time that she's been at a city council meeting that, that I've had an opportunity to serve on. So I'd just like to say thank you for being here. You have any words you'd like to say to us right quick? God bless America. God bless America. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Next on the agenda, we have the consent agenda items. As always, we'll turn this over to the pride of West Green, our city manager. Mr. Davis. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Mayor, we have six items coming over um, from the uh, work session. Uh, I'll read them off to you. Uh, item one, approval of the April 8, 2019 minutes. Item two, the approval of the Georgia Department of Correct Corrections contract. Item three, approval um, for the purchase of an uh, excavator for the water wastewater division. Uh, item four, approval to apply for the Georgia Department of Transportation Alternative Program, or otherwise known as TAP program. Item five, um, approval of appointments to the Douglas Coffee County um, Planning Commission. And item eight from the work, set, work session, the approval of alcoholic beverage license for Taqueria Pancho Villa, the second LLC. <laughs> All the items have been stated on the consent agenda. I entertain a motion at this time. So moved. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is work session items uh, brought forward for discussion. Mr. City Manager, lead us through it. Uh, yes, sir. We have two items being brought forward. Both of these are just for discussion. Announcement of appointments. Uh, advertisement. We had first one, uh, item six in the work session, discuss the appointment to the Downtown Development Authority. George Henderson. The recommendation is to allow staff to publicize one vacancy, one expired term, rather, on the Downtown Development Authority uh, for a period of two weeks and bring a recommendation back to you at the next meeting on May 13, 2019. The next. Um, Next item be uh, item seven, uh, discuss the appointments to the historical historic preservation uh, committee. George Henderson. Same here, requesting permission to um, publicize two vacancies on the historic preservation committee, and <coughs> once we advertise that for two weeks, we'll bring a recommendation back to you at the May 13th meeting. Thank you very much. Those are all the items. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Next on the agenda is staff comments. Ms. Henderson, how are you doing? Doing great. How's everyone? Good doing evening. Well. well, thank you. Um, just want to say this week is Georgia City's week. We have lots of celebrations going on to keep from going through a long list. Go to our website um, just to see what all is taking place the remainder of this week. And also, I do want to plug, however, because this is our first time doing a community housing fair. It will be held this Friday at the Roundtree Center from uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. That information is on our website as well. We have some job opportunities with the City of Douglas, um, full-time firefighter, police officers, also youth program workers at the Police Department and, I'm sorry, at the Parks and Recreation Department and youth program assistants. We also have some bid opportunities. Um, you can go online for full details, but right now we are accepting um, bids for new electrical gas and water um, building that is in the CMAR project, I do believe. 
also uh, the public works grounds maintenance and facility maintenance facility and also for the sale of the Martin Center and all of those are located on the website thank you thank you thank you very much Mayor Commission, I'm here to remind everybody May is Older Americans Month and Douglas Park and Recreation has uh, events for senior citizens. We have line dancing and square dancing. Oh. So if you have gray hair, please come. Um, also, <laughs> also, <laughs> also, we have a, uh, Douglas Singles Club dances, um, so you can meet and greet there. Um, we have a Wiregrass Artist Guild that we invite seniors to come in for their talents and their abilities. Uh, just if you see a senior uh, next month, just pat them on the back because trust me, they probably taught you something or you've learned something from them. But one thing, Mayor and Commissioner, that I'm really, really excited about, we have our master list ready for all our summer camps. We have over 15 summer day camps. This year we're actually going to start earlier at 8 o'clock. We've had, that was one of the requests we had for one year is could you start your camps a little bit earlier? We also are having camps for older teens, so mom and dad go by Parks and Recreation. This is what we're calling our master list. Uh, you will bring this May the 7th uh, for what we're calling it instead of Blitz, we're calling it just summer registration. Uh, it gives you all the dates and prices, and if I do not announce swimming lessons, Barbara Joyner is going to kill me. So. That's the day you can sign up for swimming lessons. Now, I need to tell the public that um, we can only take 12 per class. If you're interested in your grandchildren, I know some people have their grandchildren, uh, you can call me at 383-7332. Be glad to ask questions. Just as Georgia said, you can go on city website. Our master list is there, and hopefully we'll be able to register uh, event eventually online as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Learned something new. Didn't know Mr. Moore had a whole month to himself. <laughs> Must be nice. Sticks and stones are breaking up. <laughs> I have, I've learned a whole bunch from, from Commissioner Moore, I have to say, but most of it I can't talk Repeat. about. Repeat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Next, we have uh, on the agenda uh, the comments from the Mayor and Commission. Let's start out with Mr. Moore since it's <laughs> almost his month. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta let her get the clock ready. Now, I hope everybody had a good Easter and uh, hope you found your eggs <coughs> and uh, don't sit on those. But uh, this uh, appreciate what each of you do and I appreciate this time of the year that uh, we celebrate the risen Savior Jesus Christ and we hope you'll if you don't know him you'll get to know him. And we thank you for what you do. And uh, I'm talking to one out of two. And, <laughs> and uh, thank you and appreciate the time, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd just like to uh, first and foremost uh, pray and hope that everyone had a very, very happy Easter and that we dare not forget uh, why we celebrate Easter. It's not about the bunnies, not about the eggs. It's about uh, Jesus Christ dying on the cross so that uh, we will be forgiven for our sins and have <laughs> everlasting life if we believe. And uh, so let's continue showing the love. Uh, around holiday times, people try to get a little bit more lovely. Let's just try to re remain more loving and kind to everybody all the time. Uh, other thing that I'd like to say is congratulations to our new uh, Mayor's Youth Council. So I wish you all well. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to do a lot. But just be encouraged. And, and we are very proud to have you all aboard. And lastly, I'd just like to say for everybody to be governed by the announcements and take advantage of them. We have a lot of great things going on in Douglas, and we just need to be more involved. And also, we had a very wonderful time on yesterday out at Round Tree Park. I know I did. Uh, I got worn out, but I, I really enjoyed it. It made me feel a little young again. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, thank you, uh, Reverend Freeman, for coming and sharing your time with us tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome. Commissioner McNeil. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I, too, want to say congratulations to all of our youth. I'm very proud of each of you. We're all playing in this and stepping forward with this. Um, I wish you all much success. Hope you go on to hold a special office one day and um, 
and make us proud, even prouder. And um, we're going to be following you. So we're going to be looking for your names in newspapers and with responsible jobs. And so this is just the start of some good things for all of you, I hope. And, um, I, and I commend you ladies. I hear we have a, a female mayor and a mayor pro tem who's also female. So commend both of you, too, uh, for stepping forward. I want to say I know everybody did have a, a good Easter weekend. And um, it's, it's all about, um, I, as we said, it's all about our faith. And regardless of your denomination, I think, um, you know, we all have um, a belief and a hope for eternal life, and I think that that is what drives us and um, helps us to be better people and to do, um, to serve like we serve, to give ourselves to others. And um, so again, I hope everybody had a, a good Easter. I know it was a difficult, difficult year for me. It was my first year without my mother, and I know I've talked with so many people who've lost a loved one, and these holidays are sometimes tough, so be considerate of that and think of others in those in that regard. Mm -hmm. because it, it is and one thing I want to say Mary too I looked at our um, at the city's website and our Facebook page and some of our events going on here um, towards the end of the month of April and in May and will you refresh my memory um, city manager when is the um, true colors the city departments are doing true colors aren't they where they're um, featuring staff uh, yeah, Georgia, you want to comment on that? Yeah, okay. Georgia, please. I'm sorry. That is the theme for Georgia Cities Week that's this week, True Colors. Great. And Blondell did take pictures of all the departments, and they will, she, we will feature them throughout this week on Facebook and our social media platforms. I think that's wonderful. Yes. You're going to let what folks, let, let the citizens know what each department does, what they're responsible for. Yes. When we say customer service, their interpretation of that might be something entirely exactly. different from ours. So, so we're going to thank y'all. Some rev each department this way. Yeah, I think that's great. So y'all be on the lookout for that as citizens. And um, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say congratulations to the youth council. <clears throat> thank you all for coming to serve. Um, because it means a lot to not only us, but it helped fulfill the mayor's vision that he wanted for the last two years. And to the youth, <coughs> skies is the limit. Learn all you can learn while you are serving up here. Represent it. Represent Coffee County well. Again, I say thank you all for stepping up to the plate because you could have been doing something else, but um, you chose to come and serve on the youth city council. I say thank you. Um, next, we have cleanup. We still talk about let's keep Douglas clean. This week, if I'm correct, <coughs> you have five days. Only thing you have to do is you have something around the house that's been there a while loaded up on a trailer from 8 to 5. You can drop it off at the pole area and they will take it off your trailer and it don't cost you not nothing to do. So please, ma'am, please, sir, let's clean up around our home, keep the grass cut, make sure that uh, we keep it our area clean. Another issue that has came up is it's getting summertime and I'm crazy about pets and all, but we are letting our dogs run loose um, all of a sudden, you know. Please, ma'am, please, sir, we need to keep those dogs in the pen or uh, on a chain because if you don't, uh, there will be enforcement behind it because you have a lot of kids riding their bicycles. Uh, some of the dogs are progressive, you know, everything. So um, let's make sure that we are taking care of our pets like we're supposed to be taking care of. You must have them in a pen or on a lease so that you can control them, not let them be running loose. Matt, that's all I got. Thank you. Commissioner Durr? Yes, reiterating on what um, 
Thank you, ma'am. It reiterating on what Commissioner Taylor was saying, I was aware and made aware of it today. Someone in his ward, um, they were saying about the dogs coming out of the house, not on leashes, and they have beaten like two people over there, over there, um, what's the, Jackson subdivision over there. Wow. And um, they really need to govern their dogs as if, you know, with a leash on them, a, a, a collar and a leash. If they're gonna bring them outside because that puts them in harm's way. But also, um, Mr. Like Commissioner, I'm sorry, but now I I think that we did away with them being um leashes. Or, or if only if they're walking on. Yeah, but at home, outside, yeah, you can't the chain. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can't have them on the chain. Right. It's your house, right. uh, you so. You can walk them with a leash, but at your house, they, so they when can't. You let them, when you let them come out your door and they just run away and go be, bite someone. No, no, no. Uh, uh, no. You have them on let, a leash. Then. They didn't have them. Yeah. Let me let me be clear. We have an ordinance that you cannot have right. them on a chain at at your at their yard. Right. If you 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 can only have a a pen for them. No, I it, didn't say a chain. No. The leash. You can't right. have them on a leash in the yard. No, no, no. I'm saying when you walk them. Okay. Say if you're letting them okay. out of your house. Right. They're, they're leaving the home. These dogs are leaving out of the home. Okay. That's okay. That's going from one side of the house out of their yard to another neighbor's yard. Okay. That I was just trying to make it clear to our citizens right. that at the on, in your yard you cannot have them tied up on a leash. I didn't want the right. citizens to get they confused. They must be fenced in a pen. Right. Okay. It must have you know the things, but I'm talking about coming out Come. of the household into the yard into someone else's yard, mm -hmm. okay. inviting them. That's what I was saying, Commissioner Pierce. Right. If they walk them, you know. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they have. They got them. They are okay, right. that they're on the leash when they're right. walking them. Now, okay. And then if they're in the yard, they need to be fixed in a pen. Way. Right. You know. If you I, I just wanted to clarify for the right. for the citizens at right. home. But they made me aware of that 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 two citizens got bitten by a dog that came out of a trailer mm -hmm. out there into the yard. So that's why I was reiterating. But anyways, getting back to the youth mayor's council. Congratulations to you all. I know you all will do well and look for the journey that's ahead. And also I like to say um, that on yesterday, or two, we gave an Easter egg hunt at Round Tree Park, as, as well as me, Mr. Cassidy White, and Ms. <coughs> Kenya Davis, and we had a great success. It did my heart, did my heart well to see those young people at, you know, Easter egg hunt. <laughs> and, they really, I was a little boy, he looked just so sad because he was so little and he didn't get no eggs and he just held his basket to me. And I just say, I get you some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also, I got a chance to talk to our youth and I'm advising every parent, every aunt, every uncle, please talk to your children about suicide and violence. That was a perfect per platform for me to talk to them. And I, I got their attention yesterday and I talked about violence and also I talked about suicide. Because a lot of the youth, by just listen to, listening, listening to some of their stories, mm -hmm. they have no one to talk oh. to. And then I just say this, if you can't talk to your parents, find someone to talk to because I don't want them to go to the activity and act on that activity because it is really arising in our city. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I, I think that, you know, some things we, we have to talk about right. as well as pray, you know. And um and it was just a great success and a great turnout. I'd like to give shout outs to our sheriff Doug Wooten and our magistrative judge Julie Phillips for that great event that was sponsored yesterday and Commissioner Frank Jacks, former Commissioner Frank Jacks. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Mr. Mayor Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I echo a couple of things that have been said. Uh, you know, personally, growing up, that was a big help, as Commissioner Durham stated, to have other adults. Um, I didn't really have a father growing up that, that was there for me, but we had other adults. I had some really good neighbors. Um, my leaders at church, you know, there's a 
let's make sure those resources out there, you know, even outside our, our um, may not be in the home, but right. we can stand and help, you know, and nothing, anybody can listen, you know, mm -hmm. and we've got to do it if we're going to help this generation coming up. Is there, you know, as we see what's going on, you know, um, a couple things that were on my mind, we've seen uh, that beautiful cathedral in Paris, uh, Notre Dame burned, you know, I guess it was an accidental burning, but it was, it was you know, it's a, a tragic circumstance, and I think they said that approximately 12 million people visit that place every year. I did not know. They said it's the most popular uh, attraction in, in all of Europe. Mm -hmm. and But it was uh, it was very um, encouraging to mm -hmm. hear all the different people from all over the world from different faiths that uh, let the Catholic Church know how much they supported them and, and whatever efforts they could do to help get that, that structure rebuilt and just the respect they showed for the church's religious beliefs and believe. what that church stood for. And then you have, on the other hand, unfortunately, we had a terrible incident that occurred yesterday in Sri Lanka. I had to look it up to make sure I knew where it was off the coast of India. Mm -hmm. You had um, Christians that were worshiping, they were at their churches worshiping for Easter and were, uh, you know, attacked by suicide bombers. So it's a crazy world that we're living in. Yes. Um, we're very fortunate, and I encourage you members of the Youth Council to, to get to know the Constitution, to get to understand our laws and our framework that sets our country apart and makes this a very special place to live. Um, we're very fortunate to have the freedoms that we enjoy here, that we can worship as we see fit, at the same time, we're encouraged, and, and the law says that we ought to respect each other's beliefs. You know, I don't have to agree with everybody, but I am obligated as a citizen to respect uh, my fellow citizens and what their beliefs are, as long as they also show that respect and keep their beliefs and practices within the laws that we have. So, you know, my heart goes out to all those who suffered. I mean, I, my understanding about 290 people were killed, another about 450 uh, were injured in those terrible attacks, and just. Um, another reminder that our freedom is not free, that there's a price that we need to pay, and that price, part of that price is diligence. Um, echo what Mr. Taylor said, you know, we have an opportunity. I'm, I'm thankful for our partnership with Waste Industries, what they're doing to help us and, and our public work uh, people and, and ESG. Uh, we appreciate their efforts to help us beautify our city.